Tai Chi, an ancient martial art, is ushering in the newest Confucius Institute in Cape Town. This institute, sponsored by the Chinese government, is the most recent to open in Africa, where some 60 Confucius Institutes are operating. Students can learn Mandarin and Chinese culture. This institute also offers classes on traditional Chinese medicine. The opportunity to travel abroad excites 20-year-old student Jaden Bitterboss, who studied Mandarin in high school. But if I really had the opportunity to study in China, I would really take it. <laughs> this Confucius Institute at the University of the Western Cape is the sixth to open in South Africa and is one of more than 500 worldwide. While the number of these institutes are increasing in Africa, the reverse has been happening in the U.S. and other Western countries. The U.S. and some academics say the institutes interfere with free speech, where some faculty may even self-censor on topics critical of China. Corbis van Staden is with the China Global South Project in South Africa. You know, so, so if a, if a university, for example, in, you know, in, invites a, a Tibetan representative, then they might get pushback from the Chinese embassy, but the, and now they might also get pushback from the Confucius Institute. In recent years, more than 100 of the centers have closed on U.S. campuses. Sweden and Finland have also shut the doors of their centers, and earlier this month, the British Prime Minister promised to close dozens of Confucius Institutes in the U.K., Western governments see the Confucius Institutes as propaganda machines for Chinese leader Xi Jinping's ideology and the Communist Party that provide Beijing's perspective on how its government works. You know, how political systems work, how kind of, you know, politics work between China and other places. And because we're in the Xi Jinping era, um, those tend to be highly informed by Xi Jinping thought and by, by kind of official, you know, talking points within, within the Chinese government. To which extent one sees that as malign propaganda, you know, is it's very much up to the, the local context. My response is very simple. Uh, all the universities, almost all the universities are, are sponsored by the Chinese government. So if you don't want to do anything with the Chinese government, then you, you can't collaborate with the universities in China. Beijing has also gained increasing influence in South Africa over the years. China is the country's largest trade partner, the University of the Western Cape's Director of International Relations, Umesh Bawa, says he had been warned by some Western partners that Confucius Institutes could be a Trojan horse, but says he is not concerned. We make, we're very clear about what partnerships we make, and like everything else, we be cautious. We don't, have, we don't do partnerships with people who do not share our values. Zeng says this Confucius Institute's curriculum is heavily scrutinized by local South African faculty. Kate Bartlett for VOA News, Cape Town.